Hi, I'm Grandpa Gary, and I just got here, and man, it's another beautiful day out here at the church parking lot here in Marysville, Ohio. Man, I am just loving this weather. I think it's like 80 degrees and a light breeze. Man, it feels perfect, and uh, you know, the only thing that would be better if it was maybe a tad cooler. That's hard to believe that I'm saying that I'd like it cooler because it's been so cold, but guys... <laughs> Even this little bit of wind is going to help with the takeoff and the landing. It's going to just smooth things out for me, I think. As long as it stays steady, it should be a help and not a hindrance. Let's get this thing in the air and see how it does. All right, guys. Once again, I'm using the Spectrum NX6 with the... E Fly Valiant, it's a perfect match. You would think Horizon Hobby planned that. They probably did. I am also using, um, I'm actually using an old HRB 3300 milliamp hour battery in there. Should give me some extended flight times. So let's get this thing in the air. One click of flaps on, should lift right off. Safe is turned off. And uh, all right, safe. Throttle cut off. Yeah, let's go. Looks like there's some smoke out there, doesn't there? I noticed that just as I took off and it caught my eye. Probably somebody burning trash or some kind of pile that they've collected. Given a little bit of up elevator, even with uh, flaps on, maybe it's my mix. It could be my mix. I turn the flaps off and it doesn't feel too bad. So, I st just checking it out. It's been, it's actually been a little bit since I've flown this airplane. So I'm just trying to get used to it. I do not have rates set up on this. That's all 100%. And I think I got Expo set at about 20%. So it could probably use different rates. But, you know, the truth is, is I really don't ever change them. I figure out which one I like the best, and I usually leave it there. So I don't like messing with that switch unless I absolutely need to. Already, this airplane's got flaps, which isn't too big a deal, right? But most airplanes, you're messing with gear and flaps, and every once in a while, you you need to throw safe on just to be messing around with rates. Just a lot of times, just feels like it's extra. Like you don't need to be doing that. And so that's kind of why I've gotten where I am on not using it that often. I'll set it up just so that I can have choices when I get going with it, but for the most part, I want to be able to set how much throw I got from the get-go. And that's probably driven from being in this so long that my first radios didn't have the option to do that. Um, there were some analog radios way back that had dual rates but for the most part uh, my older Futaba radios did not have that I had some old AM and FM radios the, the old Conquest and uh, the Attack radios by Futaba is what I started out on and of course my dad had the old Kraft radios and I use those too, but it's not what I really started on. I, that was just dad giving me a try with the old craft radio, but most of the airplanes that I started flying on my own type of stuff was with the Attack 4 channels. It was an AM radio, and it did what I needed to do. You know, for those that haven't used those old analog, it, the problem was is you bound it up to one receiver 
and that was it you had to have a radio for every airplane it seemed like and um you could switch it out but man it was it was a little bit of work because um unless you had all your controls and everything just perfect for that radio for that setup and i suppose you could swap out your receiver every time but it was you only had one receiver and um it could be a lot of work the other thing was obviously was and you might know the might not know this either i guess but uh on those old analog that were frequency or whatever they didn't have the ability to to hop channels so if somebody else had the radio with that same frequency set up on it and they flipped on their radio while you were flying it caused all kinds of problems usually they called that being shot down and your airplane usually crashed i don't remember it happening a whole lot you know my f club field is a i think they call it a gold club or something like that and they had the pin system and all that kind of stuff it was it was a pretty good pretty good club as far as following procedures to keep from shooting each other down problem is is when you're having a fun fly or something and somebody oh i'll just flip it on here in the pits real quick and check something and that's when you ran into problems this airplane flies so good I'm just having fun flying it around and talking with you guys that's what these beautiful days are for I'm using that rudder to make it lean real hard almost a full knife edge kind of crabbing it super low pass almost too low for right there that grass is getting tall here we go in a big or a tight loop actually look at that been a little while so I got her up there at least one make mistake high and it is holding so that tells me I need to adjust the elevator trim and you guys might not have thought there was anything wrong there but when I came out of that uh, outside loop it did stall and roll over so I just went with it and made it look like it was trying to do that but my radio is telling me it's time to land I think I could probably go longer uh, it's probably set for five minutes so let's line up a nice landing on the main drive here coming in in fact let's go one click on the flaps and like I thought I think I got too much down elevator mixed in but we'll make it work of course we're gonna run long turn 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 so if I walk out here that'll surely help with a nicer landing in fact, let's try a full flaps landing. Let's see how that looks. So one click on the flaps to take off, giving it some up elevator here or some whatever. Lift, giving it lift. And then after when I get into the base leg down here for final, I'll go into full flaps right there in the bank and line it up and maybe we can get a nice smooth landing this time oh of course i flare it but oh man a little bouncy bounce but not too bad i'd like to see it more up here let's try it one more time go back to one click on the flaps pin the tail down nice and smooth on the takeoff and um we get it turned around here half throttle full flaps get it down here a little closer to me letting it come down on its own 
and whoop, flare a little too early, but you know, those little bounces aren't that bad. And I just watched a video of a full scale skipping down the, the runway. I think it hopped like six times. It was funny. It was a funny little TikTok video where the guy's got his log book out and he's got seven landings marked down. It was kind of funny, but man, this Valiant, I, I'm really enjoying flying this airplane. And it's supposed to have telemetry, right? If I can get there. ESC. So it so if you guys can see that, I don't know if you can or not, but it looks like I still have at least 60% of the battery. At least. I'm gonna take off crosswind here. And we'll bring it back around. That was two clicks on the flap, so let's do a, a approach here to see what it looks like coming across. It looks fairly straight, so if we mix in some flaps, it might slow down. So I wanted to try landing it this way. It just with the sun, it just helps a little bit. Here we go, full flaps, zero throttle. It's it's moving kind of fast. Going to be down there a little ways. It was pretty smooth. It was way down there. So. Well, I got her wandering. I was going to try to take off. Here we go. That's way too high to try and bring it in this way. So let's circle around. Ooh, flare, flare, flare. Correcting the tail. Try to get it to roll instead of hopping. And nice whip around. Man, this airplane is so nice. Turn the flaps off. That was. Those were all with one click on the flaps. Full up on the elevator during the taxi to make sure the tail doesn't try to raise up. Yeah, man, I love flying this thing. So, so guys, I'm just loving RC, guys. Man, it is such a beautiful day out here. Way easy to... Uh, enjoy this hobby and the Valiant man just makes it so easy to enjoy just sit back and watch it fly around practically I'm when you get to a certain uh, flying style this is the one man it's so nice if you guys are interested in this plane I'll have it linked down in the description box along with uh, the battery you might use and um, till next time I'm Grandpa Gary, and I just got here.